name is Alice, and this is my world. These are some of the most challenging fight sequences I've ever done. And I think what sells it for people is a sense of reality. Project Alice, who do you work for? Jill. Why are you doing this? She moved to Toronto, where we shot a lot of the film, a full month and a half before we started shooting a frame of film so that she could fight and rehearse fights. She had to learn all the choreography. She had to be in a good enough physical state that she could do it again and again and again. The amount of stunt work in this film is beyond anything we've done before. It's quite interesting and, and, and quite exhilarating. Every day you never know what's going to happen. Project Alice, you're all going to die down here. I've heard that before. Fight in the corridor of light, Mila's got a padlock and a chain, a bicycle padlock and chain in one hand and a gun in the other. But we weren't sure if we could actually choreograph a really cool fight with the chain. The stunt guys were very good. I mean, you know, they did a great job and Mila did an amazing job. This 3D is definitely a challenge, not only for actors, but for stunt people as well, to actually have to almost make contact to sell a fight. It takes it into kind of dangerous territory. There is some training up ahead for me because I do have fighting sequences, so we got the team ready. There's no question that these are by far the biggest fight sequences that they've done in a Resident Evil. My intention with this film really was to build a bigger and better Resident Evil. I wanted the franchise to really, to make the first epic post-apocalyptic movie. We want people to leave the theater having a blast. <laughs> <laughs>